back everybody today I'm going to take a little stroll down here to a few of my beehives and we're going to try out the thermal imaging camera on the actual beehives themselves it's about 48 degrees out this morning sun is just coming up pretty high in the sky and I'm curious how well this this thermal imaging camera will read through the hive bodies so I'll get the camera plugged in and we'll check them out. Okay, so this is hive number one. This is actually my most populated hive right now. Um, surprisingly, I'm not seeing a lot of heat radiating through the wooden box. It's three quarter inch pine. Kind of shocks me. I thought I'd see more. It's still cool enough where the bees are not active this morning. Let's go to hive number two. Hive number two, <clears throat> this hive is currently empty. Now this is a east side of the hive box so the sun has warmed it up. Let's go to hive number three. This is also a fairly, fairly busy hive, not as strong as the first one. I need to get into these hives actually and check them out. Oh, there's one little bee coming out there. I was really hoping to see more heat radiating through the box. Hive number four is kind of a weak hive. In fact, I really need to get into this one and do some checking on them. I just gave them some uh, a pollen patty and some dry sugar here a couple weeks ago. Okay, hive number five is my newest hive. And they're showing a little activity this morning. Flat, there's a bee hooked upside down. Let me get right in on them here. He's putting off a lot of heat for a little guy. There's a couple down here on the concrete. So that handle, you can see where the handle's hot. Let's see if I can point to you right there. Um, that's thinner there so that could be the heat radiating through anyway this was just a test run I wanted to see how well it would work through the wooden hives now during the middle of winter when it's really cold out this might pick up better but for those of you who are curious how well this worked there, so you, there you have it everybody there's my quick test on how well that little FLIR 1 uh, working with my Android works on checking the beehives in the summer months or spring months not so effective on a really cold day the heat may radiate better so it may work better then let me show you the view here behind me that I'm looking at that's looking down towards the east and that's down towards the uh, Clearwater River anyway beautiful view my hive box is here let me this is my new newest addition. That's the removal that I just did over in Cottonwood, Idaho. They're doing really well. They're adapting over. Anyway, quick video. Thanks, guys.